so my new rug has finally arrived and it is big it is 300 centimeters by 200 centimeters which is a lot bigger than the current one i have down here now i'm going to attempt to do this myself the issue is moving this big slab of marble by the way that is the current as you see carpet but yeah this thing it weighs quite a bit. So let's see how this, let's see how this goes. Oh yeah, and if you're thinking, wait, Bo, you just said that this was heavy. It's physics, it's, it's, on a, it's, it's on the carpet. The scary thing about furniture shopping is it's not as easy to, re to return as clothes. It's kind of like <laughs> what you get is kind of what you got to keep. So I haven't opened it yet. A little nervous. Just completely rolled it the wrong way. It's going to be facing that way. So off to a good start. So I had to charge my camera, but I also turned off the lights. So if it was looking a bit yellow before, that's why. Uh, and this is kind of what it looks like now with more of like a, a natural light to it. <sighs> so this is it. I am going to, it's, it's not like fully done and I need to move furniture around, but it gives you a fair idea of actually what it looks like right now. And I'm not going to lie, I am pretty happy with this so far it definitely softens up the place like i love it against the blinds and everything there blinds against the curtains again one other piece down and now i'm pretty sure it's just the i got one more chair coming and then again like i said the place is almost done but this was definitely needed that other rug was just way too small my friends don't care about everything as long as you got a story to bring we'll take you along take you other places we try towards the other horizon maybe to spend a couple hundred till we run out so team this is the outfit that i am wearing today very very all black outfit pretty much and then the nice pop of blue so a recent pickup of mine was this Bodhi overshirt. I've been trying to get this for quite some time and it seems like on every website, cause I don't think it's like, I could be wrong, but I don't think it's uh, Bodhi's like newest season one. And it's been like sold out everywhere. And then I came across due to TikTok, some creator just literally is listing off some of their favorite websites. And one of them was this one that I hadn't heard of before, it was called Neighbors. And they had a big range of Bodhi, which I was so happy with and this, was there, it was there in my size, medium slash large, and I feel it fits me great. I'm so happy with it, the quality is great, and yeah, I'm just really looking forward to this whole kind of like revamp of my wardrobe, of truly now just having no exceptions really in my the wardrobe, and literally just having pieces that you truly love every single item, and that's like my biggest goal now, and this fits in perfect. This is not the first time I've worn it. I've been wearing it so much, it's simple, it's timeless yet, for me, it just still has that little bit of cool, just detail obviously to it. And I absolutely love it. So yeah, again, as always, make sure you own pieces that you love and enjoy it. I have actually taken off my loafers again because I don't want to wear shoes inside the house. We're going to go to the watch house now. I think that's called, what it's called. I don't know. It's like apparently quite a good coffee place. I haven't been before. Uh, David is showing it to me. So we'll see how that goes and get my standard Oh, the flat white. So we run out of paper and change. Go oh, tell me if I'm starting to think so recklessly. I may just write a letter home to say goodbye to everyone. And
might start keeping it clean and bound with the whole unusual feeling. I'll be all right. We'll be Something I've been doing like really recently is getting all my trousers tailored. Well, at least all the ones that need to be tailored, which is, to be honest, most of them because my waist to thigh ratio is all messed up. So it's normally the waist is always just way too big and I hate tightening up that belt all the way and just having all that excess material at the back. So I'm about to go to the tailors now to pick up five pairs of jeans that have all been altered to fit perfect now. So I'm actually looking forward to it and I thought I'd break down the fit. So on top, we do have the Cole Buxton beanie. I'm going for those that cozy winter vibe today. It's about 12 degrees outside. Then I've got this awesome, amazing um, Acne Studio uh, long coat all the way down. I love it. Now, because this is quite heavy and warm, I do just have a t-shirt on underneath, which again, is just a Cole Buxton. And then coming down, these trousers are from Arket. And then we've got the Bottega puddles on foot. And I don't love the way you treat me when you stew. In a perfect world, you take me as I do. I'm ashamed to say you paid for all my dues mm -hmm. I still got love for you Been a couple days since I ran it back I've been out of town on my fanny pack Eyes wide open when I lay down You try to build me up but I stay down Summertime, suicide, who am I? Do or die, did you decide? How do you define the new design? The mood is mine, I'm out of line And it's taking over you No mistake in that I knew And those are my newly tailored trousers. So I was meant to film this yesterday, but I just got a bit busy with work, so doing it today. Now, going to the tailor is definitely something new that I've kind of like got it into. I mean, I would do it here and there. So it's something that I've gotten new to in the sense of I'm trying to do it with almost every pair of trousers because what I've come to realize is, wow, it makes such a difference when your clothes fit you exactly how you want. A few things that I'd say, so getting your waist and it taken up, costs about, at least for me in the tailor I go to, but it's kind of like a standard, is roughly about 10 pounds. So just think about any time you're purchasing a pair of trousers, if you just put a roughly like a 10 pound on top of that, to then have them fit exactly how you want them to fit. The main things that I do get done, and I kind of just said it then, is my waist taken in is like the main thing I always need to do. And then depending on the trouser, I might get it raised uh, slightly. So get a little bit of the bottom of the hem, hem taken up. I personally don't do any, you know, like tapering or changing the actual shape of the garment. I like to keep it how it was kind of designed to be. But yeah, team, I definitely recommend you to like go to the tailor at least once and just like try it out. A few things I would say when you go to your tailor, treat it the same as you should treat it when you go to like your barber or whatever, is make sure your tailor knows exactly what you want. And don't be afraid to be like, yo, no, I need them taken in a bit more or X, Y, and Z. Make sure you leave happy, like with your new pair of trousers or whatever it is. But yeah, start going to the tailor, have your clothes fit exactly how you want and you'll be able to get a lot more use out of them. People anxiously, not once did speak to me when tides came, did not flee. The East spoke the same, had the same dream, same pain, and same feeling. Staring at the sea, and what was left of me. So sometimes like a misconception people have is they'll see me eat, so I get quite a bit of comments about it. They'll see me eat something like say like this croissant and think like, 
how do you eat that? Like, blah, 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 blah. I believe the key to maintaining like good, like consistent effort with the gym and your diet is to also have that flexibility to when you are craving something like an almond croissant is to allow yourself to have it, but also having the discipline to be like, cool, you've had it. Now you don't go have another one in that same day. You don't then disregard the rest of the day. You don't disregard the rest of the week. It's about having that discipline to indulge and enjoy and then pull yourself back and stick to your program. I guess the point I'm trying to say is enjoy life, enjoy food, but do it in moderation. On another note, I'm loving blueberries at the moment. I'm just eating them like this and it's an amazing snack. So first of all, the washing machine is going right there. So I do apologize for that. But just on my way to go to dinner uh, with the boys and then go see June. I think that's how you say it. I thought I'd break down this outfit because when I'm, sometimes just when I'm going out and there's literally like no purpose, I just like to try random new things. And I, I don't know, I thought this one kind of, I like it. Like it's casual, but I like it. But it also doesn't make any sense. Cold bucks then underneath, I actually have this like Florence black turtleneck in gray. It's like this lightweight one. Cold Buxton hoodie zipped up. Boom, Orly trousers, Orly, and then loafers. Now, I mean, it's probably not everyone's cup of tea yet. Most people would probably want to put sneakers on or something, but I like it. And then I also like it with the bag as well. I'm definitely not saying it's one of my best outfits, but I just wanted to be cozy. And this is what I decided to go with. So I encourage you all to just dress it literally how you want to dress. Like these are the items I want to wear. Wanted to wear. These are the items I wanted to wear, so I just chucked them on. I'm nothing without you. I'm nothing without you. I'm nothing without Girl, I'm lost without you. I swear I'm lost without you. All I think about is I'm not there without you. I'm not there without you. I'm not there without. Oh, so I just got back from seeing the movie, and oh my god, ten out of ten. Like literally, ten out of ten movie. Uh, for any Lord of the Rings fans out there, the way I would describe it is like watching the Fellowship of the Ring for the first time, and just being so gassed for the next movie. Like the outfits were insane, the architecture was insane, the music and the soundtrack and everything was insane. All actors were, in my opinion, great. Like, it's been such a long time since I've seen, like, since the movies like, had me like this, like, gassed to see the next one. So I highly recommend you to go, to go watch it. Uh, I, think, I think it's great. But yeah, team, other than that, I hope you did enjoy this week's London Diaries, remember, Keep dressing well and getting stuff done. I'll see you all next time. Peace. Oh, my friends don't care about everything as long as you got a story to bring. We'll take you along, take you. Along.